Good afternoon. Today we're going to be talking about installation of flexible heaters with PSA. First, care should be taken not to bend the heating element while the release liner is still on it. That creates bubbles. Clean the surface with a fine sandpaper. Ensure surface to be heated is clean of grease and dirt. Typical cleaning solvents are heptane for oily surfaces or isopropyl alcohol for plastics. Use reagent grade solvents since common household materials like rubbing alcohol frequently contain oils to minimize the drying effect on skin and can interfere with the performance of a pressure sensitive adhesive. Debris on the surface may damage the heater. Third step, we'll place the heater mat with release liner on the surface tentatively and mark the corner of the heater if necessary. Peel the release liner from the farthest edge or corner away from the lead connections. The peeled back release liner should be approximately 2 inches or 50 millimeters and fold it back upon itself. Place the heater into position immediately after peeling the release liner to avoid any dust grit adhering to the heater. Roll from one edge against the surface to be heated and press firmly ensuring good even contact. Pull release liner back at the same time. Using a hard edge plastic tool which is the full width of the heater helps to provide necessary pressure at the point of application. As a note, it is necessary to provide pressure during the application, one and a half to two PLI, and during final heater application, 10 to 15 PSI to allow the adhesive to come into direct contact with the substrate. Once it's installed, route wires, inspect, electrically static test the heater for continuity, resistance, and grounding and ensure that the equipment that the heater is installed on meets local electrical standards. Once heater mat is installed, it cannot be reapplied.